going on guys welcome to the video y'all probably think i've been playing about these hamon sandwiches julia am i playing no guys he is not playing he eats them every day it's ridiculous you know what i might start eating two a day just to get a little extra hamon in my diet now aside from eating hamon sandwiches there's three things i've been doing every single day to make sure that i'm always growing stronger and more confident in myself and honestly these are things that I think every single guy should be doing. <sighs> All right, number one is honing your craft. So check it out, man. Probably the number one comment I get on my videos is damn dude, your editing is on point. Where did you learn to edit like that? So first of all, thank you. I really do think that my editing is one of the main reasons I've become successful on YouTube. It really helps set me apart from other channels with similar content. And honestly, I take a lot of pride in this because it did not come easy to me. Like if you look at old videos on my channel from one or two years ago, I didn't know what I was doing. You have to realize I've released two videos every single week for the last three years. If you do the math, that's around 300 videos. I spend around four or five hours editing each video. So it comes out to around 1200 or 1500 hours. I've been behind my computer screen sitting there editing. Now, I'm not sure if any of y'all are familiar with Malcolm Gladwell. He's a dope author and he came up with this concept called the 10,000 hour rule, which basically says if you spend 10,000 hours doing something, you become a master at it. And look, man, I'm only at like 1,200 hours. Even if you double that or triple that because I spend a lot of time filming the videos too, I'm not even halfway there. The point here is, man, it doesn't matter if you wanna get good at editing videos, producing music, internet marketing, or copywriting so you can make money online. If you wanna get really good at any skill so that you can be paid for it and respected for it, then you need to put in the fucking time. So here's what I do. Every single day, I watch guys who have dope editing on YouTube like Peter McKinnon or Sam Colder, and I ask myself, what editing techniques can I steal and implement into my next video? I also pay attention to my YouTube analytics, and if a video has really long watch time, for example, then I see, you know, what did I do in that video that I could use again next time? And if you want to get really good at something, then you have to do the same thing, man. If you're trying to become a music producer, listen to other music producers you respect. See what you can steal from them. Have a bunch of people listen to your music and get their feedback and do this every single day. Put the pressure on him, stepping on him like he's stuck in the sand. These niggas not your homie, been around cause he really a fan. Don't block, get you hit with your mans. Have him stiff like he just popped a sand. I put cards, I ain't talking a scam. I'm an artist, I don't pay it on the cam. Julia. Yes. How cool would it be if we had a sponsor for today's video, like to help dudes hone their crafts? Oh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? This is some, some pretty cringy acting, but I do want to say thank you to Skillshare for being the sponsor of today's video. In case you're not familiar, Skillshare is a massive online learning community with thousands of different courses in dozens of different creative and entrepreneurial skills. For example, I just found a course on there that teaches you how to color correct videos in Adobe Premiere Pro like a pro. And if you're someone who's trying to get really good at editing videos, this is an absolutely crucial skill. And the best part is that premium membership costs less than $10 per month and that gives you access to unlimited courses so you can always be learning new skills and taking your craft to the next level. And because Skillshare is sponsoring the video today, if you click that first link in the description, you're gonna get two full months of premium membership completely free. What are you doing, man? So we are back again in El Gimnasio, bench pressing. Today we're doing 275 pounds. It might be a little bit less than that because these are like 10 kilos, which is 22 pounds instead of 25 pounds. But we're getting back to alternating every workout, bench press squat, bench press squat, because I was kind of mixing in some other starting movements, but my strength has plateaued a little bit. And if you want to break through strength plateaus, you need to do the exercise more frequently. So hope y'all are not bored of seeing me bench and squat because I'm not about to stop.
Number two, bite off more than you can chew. That rhymes. It's funny, man, because three or four years ago, I was just as ambitious as I am today, but I was a lot less successful. And I think it's because even though I was ambitious with like long-term goals, I was not so ambitious on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, back then I was trying to start a blog up. So I would write a blog post and edit a blog post. And then I'd be like, I'm done. I'm so accomplished, I've done so much. Whereas today I bought off more than I can chew. Today we're filming a YouTube video which takes seven or eight hours realistically. But before we did this, we had to go through all the numbers from last week's edge launch to see which sizes and colors sold best so we can plan for future launches. We had a call with our warehouse about how to optimize our international shipping rates, which led to like two hours of back and forth conversation. I'm supposed to edit these videos for this 30 day shred course I'm releasing in January, which I'm probably not gonna get to honestly, but the point is when you bite off more than you can chew, even if you don't get all of it done, you still get a lot more done than if you had it. Now look, I'm not saying you have to grind 24 seven bro and start your own business. Even if you're working a nine to five job, maybe you just wanna start something on the side or start going to the gym or start dating more. And I don't care even if you think you're the busiest person in the world, let's take a look at some numbers. 24 times seven, that's how many hours there are in a week. Let's say you work a 60 hour week, which most people don't. Let's also say you sleep eight hours a night, which most people don't. You got 52 hours left. Let's say you commute one hour per day, still 45 hours left in the day. And let's say you take another five hours eating your meals, which is a lot. That's 40 hours left. That is plenty of time to go to the gym four or five times per week, to go on one or two dates per week and still have plenty of extra time to try and start that side hustle and still have a couple hours left over to watch a movie or play some video games. So if you're sitting there making the excuse, you know, I, I'm so busy, I don't have time, man. The numbers don't lie. Fuck a deal, I can't wait. Fuck a deal, I, can't I gotta wait. get it, put food on a plate. I was just couldn't eat by a drink. Trying to cop a big house with a lake. Big house being rich, I just wanna live great. Get my people out of hood, out of state. Out of state. Trying to see another day, you always gotta watch for the jakes. So we're getting a little post-workout gains with Julia. And this is Mama Beast. Question for you. Get past it. How many, how many subscribers do we have right now? No idea. <laughs> a Se lot. 74. 70, no, is it 70, 76? 76,000? We're about to hit 1 million next year. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> I told you I was trying to eat healthier. This right here is the first step. This is garbanzo beans with spinach. And I wish they had this in the United States but also this mini hamburguesa de buey. It's like a mini ox burger and patatas bravas because gains, bro. Numero tres, leave your phone behind. So these little things, these little phones all of us walk around with all day, they're pretty awesome, man. Like they're computers, they connect us to the world around us. A lot of y'all are probably watching this video right now on your phone. But for some reason, all of us turn to our phones in times of anxiety. And a lot of times they just magnify our anxiety because rather than dealing with your anxiety and calming yourself down, you start to scroll through Instagram or answer text messages or answer YouTube comments. And it just makes you go that much crazier. So something I've been striving to do lately, and honestly, I need to be better about it. That's why I'm putting it on the video is taking time away from my phone. So if I'm filming a video and things aren't going my way and I start to get stressed out or some disaster happens with Edge, rather than diving deeper into the problem and diving deeper into the anxiety, what I'm trying to do is leave the phone at home and go run an errand. Or if I don't have an errand to run, go take the dog for a walk. If you don't have a dog, just go for a walk because what's gonna happen is you're gonna be walking, you're driving, and you're gonna reach for your phone, but you're not gonna have it. Then you're gonna reach for your phone again, but you're not gonna have it. And at first it's gonna cause you a little more anxiety, but then something kind of amazing happens. You start to calm down. 
and that anxiety gets replaced with like this serenity and you start to appreciate you know the noise in the streets the breathing that the breath the fresh air these crazy people yelling behind the camera right now man all these noises the chaos a lot of times calms you down anyway bros i hope you enjoyed this video we're gonna wrap it up here a big thank you to my camera woman back here getting the cool shots i don't have my tripod out here in spain i'm the tripod if you made it to the end of the video i appreciate you give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel click subscribe and turn notifications on because i drop two new videos every single week they are all dope as hell i will talk to all of y'all in the next video stay beastly